All right, everyone. Let me see if you guys got your cameras on. If you're drinking coffee, put your cups up right now. If you're drinking coffee, put your cups up. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. This brings us to the to the next um, portion here. And, and again, I want to welcome all the guests um, that are here and those that have already made a decision to get started and get positioned in this time in history. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you through what's called a zone one training. This is a million dollar training. I'm telling you right now. So if you don't have a pen and piece of paper, I highly recommend to get something to write down, write this stuff down uh, because it's valuable. You know, and I'll, and I'll go through, I'll go through step by step. There's nothing complicated about what I'm going to be uh, sharing with you today, but it is powerful. And some of you who are seeing this, and most of you are seeing this training uh, for the first time right now, it's going to be one of the main causes that creates more money coming into your bank account than you can possibly spend. All right. And so that's why I really want you to pay attention to what's happening because it's a million dollar formula. It doesn't mean it's complicated. So don't get those mixed up. With that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop up the Zone 1 training. First thing I want to do uh, in talking about the Zone 1 training is that Zone 1 is where all the money is. People ask me all the time, again, we're going to speak to the, to, the, to the entrepreneur within you. If you're here because you, you're looking for some, something to do socially, you want to make a couple hundred dollars a month, this is not the training for you. If you're here because you're a customer, maybe you, you, know, you don't need this particular training. But if you're here and, and you, there's an entrepreneur within you that says, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of being broke and, and always at the end of the month, not having enough money. And I want to have, you know, once in my lifetime, I want to have more money coming into my bank account than I can possibly spend. I want my bank manager to start calling me and saying, stop depositing checks. Your bank account is too big. If that kind of thing, this is the zone one training that you really, really want to be paying attention uh, to. So again, this is the big business model. You want, write this down. This is the big business model for those that want to think big, that want to grow a big network in Canada and the United States. And there will be other countries coming on board later on, years later, months later, and the company will be making those announcements. But right now our focus is on Canada and the United States. How many would like a million dollar idea, a million dollar strategy? If I told you, that I'm going to give you on a silver platter, a million dollar strategy. The sad thing is that you're going to hear it, but most of you, many of you, even though I just told you it's a million, not because I think, or maybe, or what if it's because we've proven it. We've got a proven success track record of creating many, many, many millionaires, over 400 millionaires in this industry with a strategy as simple as what I'm going to show you right now. But if I, to if I told you, I, I would really recommend, that's why if you've got a pen and piece of paper, you're writing stuff down, you're going to retain more, you're going to learn more, you're going to be able to learn it faster, you'll be able to activate these principles. And more, most importantly, once you do, you'll be able to teach these principles to new brand partners that you're bringing on that also have a dream, right? And so this is what I'm going to give you today. And this, this is it. L write this down as fast as you can. You want to create a few simple actions that can be duplicated by a large group of people over a consistent period of time, okay? This is a million dollar formula. And everything that we're gonna do in all of our trainings, we're always talking about a few simple actions that can be duplicated by many, 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 many people over a consistent period of time. If you get that over and over and keep on saying it over and over and everything that you do in your business, everything that you do in your business, if you keep it simple, if you don't complicate it, you know, I was talking to Wayne before this call uh, started today. And I said, you know, I had a, and I'm not going to name the person, but this person calls me and they had this very elaborate website that they built. It, they probably cost them a fortune and it was really super cool. And I, and I told the person, it's a brand partner. I said, you know, the problem with your website, it's going to work. That's the problem. He goes, what do, what do you mean? I said, well, can you duplicate that for everybody in your team? He says, no. And I said, then don't use it because it's not duplicatable. Your success in this industry is going to be by creating a few simple actions, not complicated actions where you need a PhD to figure things out or a master's degree to figure it out. You got to keep it simple, simple. Take a few simple actions that can be duplicated by many, many, many people. Okay. So again, in all of our training, we talk about this philosophy of keep it simple so that other people can enjoy success. If you want to make a lot of money in this industry, your team has to win. 
Do you hear me? It, not you. A lot of people are, how am I going to make money? How am I going to make, that's the wrong question. How can you help your team make more money? How can you give them the tools? How can you set up the system? Like what we're doing right now is an example that I'm handing you on a silver platter, a million dollar concept. So make sure that you memorize uh, this line, write it down and memorize it over and over. And every action that you're going to take in your business, you, you know, sometimes you have an idea. Hey, I got an idea. You think this is going to work? Run it through this test. Is it simple? Can a lot of people do what I'm about to do? And can it be done over a consistent period of time? If the answer is yes, go forward with your plan. If the answer is no, uh, it's too complicated for the average person to do, then run. Because the more money that your team can make, meaning the people that you're individually sponsoring, bringing into the business, coaching and mentoring, the more money you're going to make. That's how this works. And when you figure this out, that's when you know people become very wealthy. So here are the four zones. There's actually four zones, and I'm going to break them through. I'm going to go right through zone one, zone two, zone three. Again, write this down so you become very, very clear. And again, you're going to think I'm talking to you because I am. I am talking to you. And you're going to see what zone you're in. And you'll know because it's like, oh, geez, Shane's talking to me, right? So let's start off with zone one. Zone one is where all the money is. You might want to write that down. If you're in zone one, that's where the money is in. All the money is in zone one. You might want to repeat that. This is where the money is in zone one. And I'm going to go through every, every step of the way with you. So um, just make sure you're taking notes here. The second zone is, for example, when you get into management mode. And some of you, I know I can see you on the call. I know you're here. You know, you got one on the right, one on the left, and all of a sudden you go into management mode. How ridiculous is that? You don't go into management mode. When do you go into management mode? Never. Everyone write this down. Never go into management mode. All right. So there's no money in managing other people, guys. The money is in zone one. And again, we're going to break that down in a second. What's zone three then? Well, zone three is when you're managing, you know, managers. So you're in management mode. So your team goes into management mode and you're managing your managers. And, uh, and this is when people start to complain. They're in management mode. They're not in zone one because they're too busy complaining, complaining, complaining. And they're complaining because they have nothing else to do. When you're in zone one, believe me, the people that are, that are in zone one, they have no time to complain. They're so busy in zone one. And again, today, we're going to break down zone one in such a simple way that you'll never be able to forget it. And then finally, the zone four, if you know zone one is where the money is, if you already know zone two is management mode and never go into management mode, never write that down, never go into management mode, right? And then you're managing other people. No money in management, right? Uh, next is if, if, if you're in, you know, managing your managers, then you're, all you're doing is spending your life complaining. And if, you, and if you're sitting there calling people and complaining about this, complaining about that, well, that's called management mode. And finally, zone four is the worst, is when you're managing managers who are managing their managers, who have managers that they're managing, and nobody's in zone one. And when that happens, you have no choice but to quit. You know why people leave the business? They say, because it doesn't work. No. It's not that business doesn't work. This is so simple. I can teach a 12-year-old how to do this business. It's not that. It's that you went into management mode, managing people who are managing people and managing people, and there's nobody in zone one. And that's the person says, well, geez, there's no money. Of course. And they have to quit because there's no money coming into their family. That's how it works, guys. Zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four. So now you know the zones and you can look at your own organization for those that are already developing an organization and you know who's in zone one. You, now that you know this information, you know who's in management mode. All they're doing is managing others. They only got two people uh, you know, sponsored, but they're managing these two people. And, and in my opinion, it's a waste of time. Well, when do I go into management mode? Never, never, okay? Uh, and then again, you've got people in your group already that are managing other people who are managing, managing. And again, no one, and those that are getting ready to quit, it's because they're way, way, not only are they in management mode, but their whole team looked at them and went into management mode. So everybody's just managing, managing, and there's no new business coming in. There's no fun. There's no activity. There's no sampling. So let's continue. I hope, hope this, year, this is making sense. But uh, if you haven't written this down by now, uh, you should, because zone one is where you want to be all of the time. Zone one. Stay in zone one. We're going to have a lot of fun with zone one because it's going to become part of our daily vocabulary. 
as you're talking to your team, as you're talking to other brand partners, hey, are you in zone one? Are you, are you, did you slide into zone two, managing other people, you know? And so let me break down zone one for you in a way that is going to be very, very hard to forget. This is it. What, what I typically notice in this industry is that people love, like right now, even with Pure Cafe, people love the coffee. It's like if people try it, they love the coffee and some become brand partners and because they want to earn a little bit or a whole lot of extra money uh, for their family, which is cool, which is great. They want to go out and talk to their networks. But what I've noticed over the years is that a lot of people are at home and they're by themselves. It's easy when you're with a group of people and we're going to do this and do that. But when you're by yourself trying to figure out what do I do now to grow my business? It's a common question. What do I do to grow my business? And they just don't know what to do. Why? Because they've never been taught. Okay, they've never been taught. And this training is specifically designed to teach you what to do on a daily basis. If all you do is remember on a daily basis, stay in zone one. So zone one is, there's only three components to zone one. There's how many components are there? Three. There's only three components. You're either exposing someone to the coffee or to the opportunity. You're following up with that person or you're helping them get started. So any of these three, if you're exposing or following up or helping someone get started, either as a customer or helping them get started as a brand partner, you're in zone one. That's where all the money is. Does it sound familiar? I'm repeating it over and over because I don't want you to ever, ever forget this. So I'm gonna break down each component. I'm gonna give you a bunch of examples, but feel free to add more examples of what, what, what would be a possible um, a way that I can expose someone or what would be a, another possible way that I can follow up or how do I help someone get started? But I'm going to give you some clues and then you use your imagination and add to the list so that during the day when you're kind of wondering, what should I do to build my business? The answer is simple. I'm either going to start exposing people right now. I'm going to, uh, you know, by, by doing what I'm going to show you how to do here, or I'm following up, or I'm going to help some people get started as a customer or as a brand partner. And so uh, with that, let's talk about exposing first. And again, I'm giving you some ideas, but feel free to add to this list. You can write these down. And if you think of something else, how to expose. So for example, when we say sample two a day, give two samples a day, who could do this? Everybody. It doesn't say 25 people a day. It doesn't say uh, that you got to go talk to 100 people. Two a day, guys. Two a day. Who could do this? Anybody. So when you're giving out samples, guess what zone you're in? You're in zone one. And guess what category you're exposing? When you give that sample out, whether you're face to face or you send out the two cup mailer, you're exposing. And that is zone one. That's where the money is, right? If you say to someone, hey, why don't you just give it a try? You're in zone one. By asking that question, that is zone one. That's where the money's made, right? You're exposing them. Uh, if you show them the intro video at www.trypurecafe.net, you, know, you send them there. It's an automated video. When you show them that video, you're in zone one. Why is that? Because you're exposing them to the opportunity. You're exposing them to the, to the coffee. By coming to a live Zoom meeting like this, you're in zone one. By inviting guests to this meeting, you're in zone one because you're exposing people to the opportunity and to the product. Doing a presentation and mastering the simple presentation that we just showed you a little while back here, that, that's zone one. When you're presenting, uh, whether it's on Zoom or in real time with someone, or they're at your house and you're doing a presentation, you're in the zone one and guess what? That's where all the money is. And next, if you're doing a new brew review, what is a new brew review? It's when you invite some people over, you know, boil some water, easy, simple step, you know, stir 15 times this way, five times the other way, everybody's drinking the coffee and you're talking about the coffee, you're in zone one. And that is where all the money is. You're exposing people. And then when you're asking a simple question, like, do you, hey, do you drink coffee? Every time you ask that question, you're in zone one, okay? And, and again, feel free to add to this list, but keep it simple. And this is a good basis for you to, to say, okay, how, how, how am I going to expose today? Well, let me, I didn't do my two samples. Let me go get two samples out there in the marketplace. Or let's ask a few people to give it a try. Or let's show some intro videos. Or let's invite them to a Zoom meeting. Say, there, there's the exposure part, okay? Hope this makes sense. I hope I'm not the only one excited about this training here. And I hope you're learning a little bit. Now, the second component is the follow-up. Follow-up, again, 
60% of your business, and I'm talking to the business builders today on this training, I'm talking to the big business builders that have bigger dreams that are, are, are like I said, sick and tired of being sick and tired. 60% of your business will come from the follow-up. Okay, 60%. And many, 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 and too many, even right here in this room, you've, you've exposed, but you've never followed up. You know who you are. You've, get, you've done all the things, you've exposed, you've had a coffee with them, but you've never called back. And the reason why people don't call back, it's not because they're, they're not good people. It's because they, they don't know how. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. And again, this training is to show you easy and simple ways that everybody can do to show you how to follow up. So for example, if I'm following and I say something like, hey, Wayne, uh, it's Shane here. Did you get a chance to try the coffee? Wayne goes, yes. And I say, well, how'd you like the taste? I'm following up by asking that question. How'd you like the taste? He goes, oh, it's, it's amazing, whatever. Or if I say something like, hey, did you notice how it made you feel? You know, uh, that's following up. Uh, what did you like best? If, let's say Wayne came to a, to a Zoom presentation and he heard the presentation or he saw the Zoom video or he saw a replay video or he went to trypurecafe.net and he started watching the videos. I would ask him when I follow up, I would say, hey, Wayne, what did you like best about that, that overview? And Wayne might say, well, I like this part or I like that part. Now you have something to talk about. You're following up. And that's where 60% of your revenue is going to come from. And so when I say this to Wayne, something like, hey, would you like to try a sample pack? I'm in the follow-up mode and that's where all the money is. The worst that he's going to say is, he's going to say yes or no. Would you like to try a sample pack? He might say, well, how much is it? That's about a buck a cup. You know, would you like to, to, to try a sample pack, right? Very easy, very simple. The two questions that I like the best especially when I'm talking to potential brand partners, you know, customers is easy. They just order, they click the button and they go into the shopping cart and they go ahead, you show them how to set up, you know, their first order. But when you're talking to a potential brand partner who has a big network or has a network that wants to start exposing their network to the coffee, I'd ask, Hey, can you see an opportunity? Very simple. Write this one down. Can you see an opportunity? And you just have to say it like that. It's not a sales pitch. You're just asking a question. They're either going to say yes or they're going to say no. That's There's no other choice. Can you see an opportunity? If they say yes, you go to the next question. It's like, would you like to get started? That's it. So again, the reason why people do not follow up is they don't know how. They've never been taught. They don't know what to say. They think it's some kind of a sales pitch. They think it's some kind of a, you know, you got to be a master at sales. No, you've got to write, write some of these questions down and you can add to the list. When you, when you start following up with people, say, you know what, I tried this as I followed up and, and, and what you should feel, and this is how you're going to know that you know. Most people will not follow up because they don't know how and they don't know what to say and they're really uncomfortable. But what if you couldn't wait to get up in the morning to follow up with people because you knew what you're going to say? You know, you knew that I could do this. You know, I could call my, my prospect and say, hey, how did you like the taste? You know, these are follow-up questions. When you get excited and when you get really enthusiastic about following up with your prospects because you know what you're going to say and you know that anybody can do this. Uh, that's when it gets really, really fun. So that's the second component is following up. And finally, when you're helping people to get started, whether that's a customer that, it, you, that you're onboarding to show them how to place their first order, or when you have a brand partner, you have to show them how to get started. That's your responsibility. If you're personally enrolling that brand partner, it is your responsibility to hold them by the hand because they don't know anything about anything, right? You can take them through the videos that we have recorded at trypurecafe.net, you know, but here are the basics to getting started, right? The first thing is that you want to make sure that you become a product of the product. You want to make, and what does that mean? Everybody here, product of the product, what does it mean? It means, look, in, in, in the pure cafe business, if you drink coffee, you better be drinking your coffee. So what I typically do is if I'm, I'm we're going to use Wayne as an example, but if I'm talking to Wayne, I say, Wayne, all that coffee you've got in the cupboard there, Nescafe, and I see Maxwell Health, throw it in the garbage. You know, give it to someone you don't like. You know, get rid of it because if, as a brand partner, you're not drinking that stuff anymore. You're not going to Starbucks anymore. And if you do, you're going to order water, you know, hot water. You know, when you go to a restaurant, you're not ordering coffee anymore. You're going to order hot water and you're going to drink your product because you're a product of the product. Does this make sense? Hope this is making sense, right? So becoming a product of the product also means things like set yourself up to do business. If you're here and you're still on this call, it means that you're serious about building a large business. Set yourself up to do business. You know, imagine if the company kept on running out of product every month, every month, and you couldn't get the product. Well, a lot of our brand partners, they don't have enough product. 
to even do their business. They're ordering the minimum of the minimum and they don't have enough product to sample and to consume and to grow their business. And so being a product of the product also means make sure that you set yourself up to be in business. You're in the coffee business. Make sure that you're the coffee person. So when someone knocks on your door that's unexpected and they just want to buy a box or two, that you have that inventory sitting there that you can get to them right away. Okay. So um, now the next thing you want to do is make a list of a minimum a minimum, and when you're helping someone get started or if you're just getting started, make a minimum of 50 customers, people that you know, at least by first name, and they know you by first name, who are um, potential customers. You know they drink coffee, so put them, write them down on a piece of paper. And you also want to have a minimum, and I'm talking minimum here. Some of you on this call have 2,000 contacts. Some of you have 5,000 contacts that you know. Um, but for the average everyday person who that's who we're talking to. The average everyday person can do this. You make a list of 50 customers, potential customers, and you make a list of 50 potential partners, meaning people that might want to make a little bit of money. And I know that all over the world right now, it's not just Canada and the United States, but all over the world, people are struggling, right? Financially, they're struggling and they need to make a little bit more money just to get by, you know, just to pay the bills. And here we come along with coffee, are you kidding me? Something as easy as that, they can make a couple hundred extra dollars, three, four, five hundred dollars a month. And for those that start making that money, they never want to stop. And so the checks keep climbing and climbing and climbing. And so um, the, the money is in that list as well. The bigger your list, the more potential you have. You don't have to go out to strangers, guys. You don't have to do that. Why is that? Because most people can't and most people won't. They'll run from that. But who do you know, at least by first name, that drinks coffee? right? Get that list going, build that list. It's like money in the bank. You know, you can conduct when you're getting started, you want to conduct, or you want to assist in these, what we call new brew reviews, which is basically getting a bunch of people over to the house, boiling the water, making the coffee, you sit around and have a conversation while you're drinking the coffee. Very, very easy. You do it almost every week anyway, you know, with normal business. And so uh, that is Again, helping someone get started, you show them how to boil the water, you show them how to stir 15 times one way, right? Uh, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna master this training. You wanna master the zone one training. You wanna become a master at zone one. When you can say, I've mastered zone one, I can predict the amount of money that's going into your bank account. And finally, probably one of the most important as you're getting started, as you're helping people get started in their uh, pure cafe business, you wanna make sure that they're making an 18 month commitment. 18 month commitment. That's a year and a half. So don't just make a commitment. And, and I'm not talking about making a commitment to me. I don't need your commitment, right? That's not, you don't need to make a commitment to your sponsor. Even you don't need to make, you need to make a commitment to yourself and make a commitment to your family that for once you're going to stick with something for 18 months, it's going to take you time to build out your network. It's going to take time. Yes, it's easy and it's fun and it's only coffee, but you're going to need that time to master the components so that you can become a professional. After 18 months, if you can't figure this out after 18 months, then yes, it's time to do something else. But give yourself some breathing room. You know, be easier on yourself. Stay in zone one for 18 months and now we'll compare paychecks and you, you'll, you'll have a, your paycheck's going to have a big smile on it um, for sure. So, you know, again, with the getting started process, you can kind of add some things in here. I just made a short list to give you the idea um, on, on what to do to help you get started and also teach other people. The most important thing that I'm saying today in this training is this is where the money is, guys. Zone one. Zone one. Stay in zone one. And you can tease brand partners if you want. It's okay. Hey, you know, I noticed, John, uh, you slipped into zone two there, man. There's no money in that, right? Or, geez, you're in, you're in zone four. Now, I know you're going to have to quit. Right? We've already gone through this training. Why they're going to quit? Because they're managing their managers who are managing their managers and nobody's in zone one. And that's the fastest way to get someone to exit out of the business. And so um, there it is. If you haven't written this down, what I highly recommend that you do starting immediately is look at these three things, exposing, follow up, get started, right? When you're exposing to the, the coffee, when you're following up with people that you've exposed and when you're helping either customers or brand partners get started you're in the zone that's where the money is don't leave that zone for those and then that little bit of money that starts coming in turns into a lot of money that turns into a whole lot of money that turns into coffee millionaires that's how it works all right it doesn't start off with someone coming in their first week they become a coffee millionaire but they're positioned right now so for example on monday morning as an example 
You wake up on Monday morning, say, geez, what am I going to do? Would this, if you just followed up, followed up, followed up, followed up all day, just follow up, follow up. Follow, are you in zone one? Yes, you are. Well, what if the next day, um, all you did was expose, expose, expose. Are you in zone one? Yes, you are. Any one of these is zone one. Or if you spend the day helping people get started as a customer or helping them get started as a brand partner, is that zone one? Yes. Or you can combine. You can say, okay, I'm going to expose uh, for a couple of hours or an hour or 20 minutes, and then I'm going to uh, follow up on these people for half an hour, and then I'm going to help people get started for the next hour. Whatever, that's all zone one, and that's where you're making your biggest uh, money. This is what I want to encourage everyone to do as we conclude this training here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. And I hope you took a lot of notes. And, and I hope you can see that this is, a, in fact, a million-dollar training. A lot of you guys are going to start now implementing this. And what I want you to do is learn this system. Learn the simplicity, number one. Once you've learned it, that's not enough. you got to live it. I mean, you got to be zone one. they got to call you Mr. Zone one or Mrs. Zone one because you're always in, that, in those three zones there. And live, that's what I mean by live it, be the zone one, right? And then finally, once you're there, you're going to say, this is so easy. I can teach anybody how to do this. Like I say, it's so simple. I can teach anyone, right? That's when you're going to start teaching your brand new brand partners who want to make a lot of money, who want to grow a large network, who want to step away from their nine to five eventually, right? This is how you do it by staying in zone one. So with that, that concludes our training for today. 